Welcome to PYP Masterpieces with Tabla AI. My name is Cindy Blackburn, and I've been a PYP educator and coordinator for the last 10 years. This is our third video of the series, but throughout it, we're going to be using the same grade five innovations and sustainability unit. I'll be planning it from start to finish, all using Tabla AI. We're currently in the thinking stage of the inquiry. So students have established their questions and they're diving a bit deeper. Our goal as the educator in this stage is to scaffold the learning and to keep an eye out for potential misconceptions. In this video, we're going to be diving into developing conceptual understanding during this stage. With concepts, the major goal is learning transfer. We're not just preparing our learners to be successful on a test or an assessment. We're preparing them to go out into the world, encounter new situations, and have the skills, knowledge, and understanding to be successful. This is really the key reason why we study concepts, because the idea is that as learners encounter these big ideas again and again across their elementary education, they'll develop a clearer, bigger picture of how the world around them works. Next, I'll introduce one of my favorite strategies for exploring concepts, case studies. And who better to ask than the author of Concept Based in Korean Action, Rachel French. Let's hear what she has to say about case studies. Facts and topics provide the foundation for understanding concepts. Mm. And that's at the heart of why case studies are important. So a case study is really simply an example of the concepts or the conceptual understanding that we want to explore in order for students to start to be able to see its relevance. And we need to explore multiple case studies in order to form a generalization. So if I, ha if I want students to understand that communication evolved differently across time and place, mm -hmm. I can look at cuneiform, I can look at hieroglyphics, I can look at the evolution of papyrus. Those are all the case studies that build to an understanding of communication. Is that a good summary? Yeah. So for example, in the sustainable design unit, I might look at a few different case studies, maybe looking at bamboo toothbrushes or beeswax wraps or the company Tom's Shoes. Every time I study these factual case studies, I'll build students deepening understanding of what a sustainable product is. For this learning experience, we're going to be diving into my second line of inquiry in the unit, which really explores how designers can be responsive to local needs and available resources. So here I am in my Tata lesson planner. And as you can see, I've got AI on the right hand side here. Our AI is jam packed with take and use prompts that you can use. These have been created by me and other prompt engineers, and they have all the theory of the PYP baked into them, it's also going to pick up on the context of your unit. So you're not having to go back and add things like your central idea or what you're working on. I'm going to select here to create a case study to help students build conceptual understanding. First thing it's going to ask me is about my learning intentions for this learning experience. And as I said earlier, I really want to focus on my second line of inquiry. So the first thing I notice is that it split up my learning intentions. So it took that one line of inquiry and turned it into three learning intentions. All right, so these are the big understandings that I want students to have from LOI2. We can see it's created a case study for me. So it's taking an example of a city in Australia that has dealt with their recycling issues. They have a buildup of extra garbage and they use that garbage to build local roads. So there we go, it's got both an availability of resources, and it's got a sustainable design solution. So this is just a very cool case study that I can use. It's provided some suggested extension activities, but I'm kind of curious what else students might do with this case study. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it. I could just have students read and discuss this case study, but I'm curious how we could extend this a bit further. So it's coming up with things like creating a plastic road model, debating the benefits of the different types of roads, um, interviewing a local official. I almost imagine creating this like a choice board. So we all interact with the same case study and then students have an option of how they interact with it uh, and what they might produce. Let's go ahead and have it incorporate these ideas into that initial learning experience. This is one of my favorite features of Toddle AI is that I don't have to go back and forth with copying and pasting and rearranging. I can just ask it to do that heavy lifting for me. And now that it realizes I want to make a choice board, it's going to give me even more options that I can add into this learning experience. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to add it to my learning experience. I'm also just curious if it can make some local connections. So I'm located in Colorado Springs. I wonder if it could find some specific case studies for local exploration.
Rather than having to go online, I can just do all of the searching and preparation for my lesson within Toddle. So here we go. It's provided a list of these local case studies because as Rachel said, we're not just going to look at one case study. We're going to look at multiple to build those conceptual generalizations. So it'll be handy to have these. So I'll go ahead and copy them and add them here to my teacher notes. Planning with Toddle AI makes it so easy to turn theory into practice in your classroom. I hope that this video made the idea of conceptual case studies feel more doable and achievable in your classroom. Let me know if there are videos you'd like to see in the future. See you soon and happy inquiring.